Hi friends. Today we are going to demonstrate why backup utility is not able to take online backup. That is backup directories where files are being created or deleted during the backup of the directory. To demonstrate this, we will use two command procedures, setup.com and test.com. Setup.com will be used to create a contents of the directory to be backed up. Test.com is used to take the backup of the directory. Once the contents of the directory are created, setup.com starts deleting the contents and then recreating the contents. This creation and deletion is done when test.com is backing up the directory. Test.com is run on a separate terminal. Please note that online backup is not the same as backup of files that are currently open by other users. Errors thrown during backup of open files can be taken care by providing the ignore slash ignore slash ignore equal to interlock qualifier in backup. Now that the contents of the directory have been created by setup.com, we will start backup of directory by running the test.com on a separate terminal. First, we will check if some versions of popular.tmp are created in the directory before running test.com. In the, in the remaining part of the demo, we will observe that more number of test1.txt files are copied and less number of text2.txt files are copied at the destination directory. The discrepancies are shown through callouts. This discrepancy occurs as backup utility uses QIO calls directly to find the directory contents rather than using RMS to get the details. When the files are created or deleted in the directory, when backup is running, backup gets modified directory listings of the directory in each QIO call it makes to read the directory contents. This leads to the issue of either more or less files being copied. This is the design constraint of backup utility. As mentioned in the first slide, this is this is documented in OpenVMS System Manager's Manual, Volume 1, Section 11.15.1. 1. 